music. I don't want to get copyright struck and flagged for bullying. Don't look out there. It's extremely messy. I'm still organizing. I just wanted to film really quick. So some dude is just furious at me because I critique Lizzo. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. And at the same time, I'm going to show you earrings that I got from CVS. Let's go. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. I'm in my car in a giddy up. By the way, I had to censor this dude's face because of YouTube's new guidelines and because you cannot do like content on regular people or private, but whatever. And this guy is a full on social media influencer. And I communicated with him and told him, uh, look, I'm going to make a video about this because you brought up some points that I would like to talk about. But he decided once I called him out on what he was saying to me to change his username or block me the moment I told him my opinion as he shouted from the mountaintops about black women empowerment. What's wrong, Joey? I thought you fought for black rights, black women being able to do what they wanted to do. Or is it only the black woman that acts the way that you want the black woman to act? You tell me. This video is sponsored by me and my protein donut company and my weight loss support group. For more information, click the links below in my description and thank you all for the support. Hello, welcome back to my channel where I rant about whatever I want or whatever you guys send me. And if I'm interested in that topic, then I'll talk about it right here. So we had a schedule plan. I had some things that I was working on. I'm starting a new series called Monday Movie Day. We've got Puppy Pal Saturdays because I'm becoming a dog trainer and I'm gonna show you guys some things. It's not always gonna be on Saturdays. It's gonna be whatever day I put it on. We had a wife swap episode that I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about that guy that identifies as a Korean man, but not today because a while ago I decided, I made a pact with myself that if I'm gonna go back and forth on Instagram and partake in little Instagram back and forthiness by people who don't even watch my videos and make little assumptions of me, I'm gonna get compensated, okay? I'm gonna get paid by making a video and putting it on YouTube. I don't have a lot of time. I'm constantly on the go. So if I'm gonna have a conversation on a public platform, I'm gonna make it ultra public and make it a group discussion because we're family, all 500,000 of us. Even the ones that don't get along, the ones that hate me, we all have family members we don't necessarily like and they're still family and so are you. So after my Lizzo video, this guy was pissed at me for critiquing Lizzo. Pretty much he says that we shouldn't be critiquing women. We definitely should not be critiquing black women, even though he was critiquing me. Here it is, make it make sense. And Lizzo was amazing and I should keep my lips zipped and not talk about trending topics on a platform where you're supposed to talk about trending topics. So, and while I do all of that, I'll be showing you guys my new earrings that I got from CVS or jewelry in general. I pretty much had the same jewelry collection since about high school, minus my rotation of Walmart hoop earrings. I pretty much had a whole collection of Claire's. So now I upgraded to CVS. Here's the first thing that I showed you. I think it's cute. And now back to the drama. So let's read his whole paragraph and muster up a little conversation. He does not want to talk to me. I tried to respond. He wouldn't respond. He just decided to keep typing his paragraphs, make judgments about me, and then delete his comment and then block me. Once again, someone explain as to why someone would do that if we're having a conversation, which is why now it's a group conversation. Now we all can talk about it. So like I said, I want to go through each paragraph bit by bit by bit. We can break it down. I'll respond. I'm sure that I will find something that I agree with and I am also sure that I'll find a lot that I don't agree with as I will find a lot of judgments about me and probably find that he didn't even watch the video. He probably got triggered by my title. So let's go. That's it. Women coming for women. Women comparing women. Doesn't the patriarchy do that enough? Who cares? The people watching the video, the people who wrote the article, the people who read the article. Just because you don't care doesn't mean that other people don't care. That's very selfish to think, Joey. It's not about her size, it's about her own and who she is without worrying about what anyone else thinks. Where Kim worries about what anyone else thinks and has started on healthy eating disorders in young people. So I think he meant unhealthy eating disorder, but what the freak is a healthy eating disorder? What Lizzo is doing? Like, <laughs> what is a healthy one? Joey. Also, I can play that whole game of, oh, this person promotes eating disorders. I have binge eating disorder. Lizzo constantly eats a lot of food on her personal platforms. To many other fitness people, they say, this makes me not want to eat. To me, it looks like fun. It looks like I could have a good time with Lizzo, which in short, it makes me want to binge. Now, if I decided to binge, I could easily say, Lizzo got me back into binging. I was doing so good until I saw her eating those hot Cheetos. It's Lizzo's fault. But I know that everything is not about me and it's Lizzo's personal profile. She can do whatever she wants. And the world does not need to cater to my triggers. 
If Kim K triggers you, don't look at her. If Lizzo ever triggers me, then I won't look at her. But I'm not gonna blame her for my binging. I don't blame anyone. I blame my damn self. I'm a grown up. At this point in time, it would be all me. And those damn soft baked cookies. And who's to say that Lizzo doesn't worry about what people think of her? I see a lot of her crying and also that whole like thing when she's like rubbing her gut, making herself try to feel better about her looks. Once again, lots of assumptions going on here for celebrities that you don't know. Okay, look at this one. This one's a dog, adorable. I tried to find a pug, they didn't have it. Where Kim worries about what anyone else thinks and has started on healthy eating disorders in young people. It's not about who is healthier. I didn't make that comparison at all. I personally think that Kim probably partakes in some very unhealthy practices to get the body that she has. I've actually talked about that quite a bit. You never jumped down my throat before about, you know, spreading certain messages. But with Lizzo, I see that you decided to do that. So, you know what's funny? I made a whole ass parody about Kim Kardashian. Where is he? Not over here, nowhere. But the moment I talk about Lizzo, there he is. And it's not just him, there's a couple of you. I will critique Tess Holiday, Kim Kardashian, all these other people. The moment I talk about Lizzo, your lord and savior, you guys come out the woodworks and say, but Michelle, she seems nice and she's pretty. Okay, well, when did I say that she doesn't seem nice and she's ugly? I never said that. I think she's a very fun person. I just disagree on certain little things that she said in a public interview that I'm responding to like I responded to everybody else. Like all my other content. Why is this different for some of you? Hmm? Tell me. Just kidding. But tell me, why is it different? Some of you guys hold celebrities very, very close to your heart and it confuses me because I, I don't, I, like, you know them personally? She's Lizzo's like your sister, your mom? Okay, this one was $12. This is expensive to me. Is this worth $12 to you guys? $12.99. It's not about whose body is classed as the best body. I didn't say that either. I never even said nothing left my mouth saying, oh, Lizzo's body is like worse than Kim Kardashian or Kim Kardashian has the best body. I never said that. I said that many people want to look like Kim Kardashian and have gotten surgery to try to emulate that. And no one does that to look like Lizzo. It's not a fact, but I think it's a fact. Maybe someone's out there getting surgery to look like Lizzo. I don't know. But from what I understand, I don't think anyone did that. She is an audio icon. This is proof that he didn't watch the interview, my video. He didn't read the article that I was referencing. She didn't talk about being an audio icon. She said that she's a body icon. So where the hell did you get, what are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about what Lizzo said. Joey, you didn't do your homework. You just started those fingers exercising on my profile about something that, what, why are you fitting all of this in your paragraph. She is an audio icon because she owns who she is. People don't like big girls who are confident. So I can actually agree with this statement. I don't think that it's just big girls though. I think a lot of people do not like or are just very intimidated by a woman who is confident or is a woman that is like maybe not even confident but just doing their thing because what else are you gonna do? People aren't gonna like you just because you're you. So I can agree that some people just don't like fat black women or just fat women in general doing their thing. Unfortunately, Joey, I've said many times that I love when I see fat women doing their thing and like styling it up and just having fun and like not being that insecure, scared in the corner fat person that like doesn't want to do anything because they're fat. I absolutely love when I see people do that. I've said it many times in past videos, specifically the one where someone asked me or no, not even asked me. They said, oh, you don't think fat people should wear bikinis? And I that I don't know where the hell you got that from, why would I give a shit? I personally love when I see fat people at the beach enjoying their time. Why would they not be allowed to do that? So it seems like he's implying that I hate fat people just doing their thing. No, I think it's great that Lizzo's doing her thing. I just don't believe in everything that she stands for. Like obesity being healthy. It's a very, very simple thought. I've been as her and hated it, but that's all because of society's bullshit, like racism and homophobia. Okay, I'm talking about obesity and health risks and the article. I'm not sure why he's like bringing in homophobia and racism into this conversation. He's bringing up audio icons and homophobia and racism and all these other things into his paragraph for I don't know what reason. I don't think this should be a discussion. Okay, well too bad because I think it should be a discussion on my profile, which it is a discussion. It was before and it is right now. If you do not like the discussion, you do not have to partake in it. You don't have to listen to it. It, you don't have to click on the video. You can just scroll on by. If you don't like the discussion, baby, hold on. I will even open the door for you.
Go on. Get out. I don't think this should be a discussion unless it portrays a healthy mind. So are you saying that I should not talk about health? As in, I shouldn't talk about obesity in black women or obesity just in general. I shouldn't talk about the high percentage of black women who are dying from obesity related issues. Unless it's about mental health. Honey, I don't have a mental health background. I'm not educated in mental health. I am educated on nutrition, working out, exercise science. I have binge eating disorder and my whole family are sugar addicts. So I tend to try and talk about what I have an education on or a background. It's so funny when I talk about certain things that I don't have a background on and people are like, don't talk about this, you don't know anything about it. But then I talk about things that I do have a background on and people are like, don't talk about this, this shouldn't be talked about. Make up your mind. Doesn't matter what you say, cause I'm gonna still do it. $9 for a bracelet, is that right? And Lizzo uses her platform for all human rights. Kim doesn't. How do you, like, I get that when people on Instagram do things like, oh, we show people of different colors and sizes and this, this and that, then they are portrayed as they're like a human rights activist. And if you don't say any of that, then you're not a human, like, you don't care about human rights, you're just a selfish person. But from just like a little Google search, I, sh I could be completely wrong. I don't follow these people, I don't look at this as like real life. I don't know these people. I just comment on what I see on the internet. Some people take it very seriously about celebrities they don't know. But just a little Google search, Kim's doing that whole lawyer thing. And it seems that she is trying to become a lawyer to help people that are in jail get out of jail who shouldn't be in jail for that long for like stupid shit. Isn't that human rights? Ish. Just because she's not giving a platform for like obese people to, you know, have a platform or like get, give them the spotlight doesn't mean she doesn't care about human rights. And just because someone uses their platform to showcase someone that's obese or like of all kinds, as this guy says, doesn't mean they really, it like, I, I hate when people like gatekeep what is human rights, acts of, you know, it's okay. I just don't like it. Why are we still having this conversation and shaming people? Who did I shame? And honestly, shaming is very subjective. Some people say that I shame fat people. Other people say that I critique fat people and that the critique helps them along with my little inserts of little health tips to help them, you know, not binge anymore. It's all subjective, but if you feel shame from my content, that's on you. That, that has nothing to do with me. Some people don't feel shame about my content. They feel very motivated. See how it works? I understand that we shouldn't be selfish and that maybe my content doesn't help certain people, but then it helps other people. I can understand that some people like Joey cannot. The difference is taking your quote of our surgery and people wanting to look a certain way is that if Lizzo wanted to lose the weight, she can, but she chooses to be true to herself and it's refreshing. It so, I never said that she couldn't lose the weight. I never said that at all. She probably could. She has all the resources to be able to, and you know, she's very fit, works out. If she just reduced the calorie intake, she'd definitely be able to lose weight. I don't know why he said that. But at the same time, it sounds like he like, he loves that she's obese, as in it like helps validate him. It's just very interesting that he said, oh, she stays true to herself and doesn't lose weight. She's supposed to be fat, a fat black, girl fat because that's what black people are supposed to be not that he said that but that's the it's uh, that's what's always the impression that's given off when they see like a fat black woman or just a fat woman doing her thing in general they're like yes yeah, she's staying true to herself and they're gonna be real mad if she loses weight they say that they won't they say that they're very supportive but we already saw how it went down with adele rebel monique there's another girl that got liposuction that you guys were always telling me about and people were getting pissed about that now it gets maybe the comedian, I don't know. Some other fat chick token that they like to always reference who's like doing it for the big girl, staying big for the big girl. She went and got liposuction and people got real pissed. So I could only imagine if Lizzo lost weight, what they would say. It's easy to sit there criticizing people's bodies when you're in ideal shape. Huh. Interesting. One, you don't watch me at all, huh? You think that I was just like plopped and never worked for this ideal shape that you say is ideal. Second, I do not have the ideal shape. Most women want like super tiny upper body, super big boobs, and you know, no muscle tone at all up here and a super large lower body. That is a 2022, you know, body ideal. I get called a man quite a bit. I got told when I worked at the gym, oh, but I don't want to look like you. That's too much muscle. I'm not the ideal body. And three, you said I have the ideal body 
which makes me very happy. Compliments are always nice, even from people that judge me. Also, I comment and critique things on the internet, so I'm criticizing her body because her body is the topic. If the topic was something else, that's what I would have talked about. But this is the whole topic of the article that you didn't read. She should be proud of who she is. I never said that she shouldn't be. I'm happy that she's proud of who she is. People should feel pride. She owns who she is and doesn't sell toxic dietary standards that have been forced upon people got centuries. Uh. And Juice Cleanse Lizzo has left the chat. He must have missed that one just like he missed the whole interview and article that I was talking about in my video that he didn't watch. You're into sports and keeping fit. Hold up, now I know you haven't watched my videos because if you knew, what the hell do I watch all the time? Cartoons, when, every single day. And what have I repeatedly said that I hate sports? and the news. I can't stand sports, Joey, it's boring. Are you judging me? Are you judging me just because of my muscular body? You think that I just love sports? I can't stand them. This group always be acting like, we're so carefree and we don't judge people, don't judge people. And they're like the most judgmental group out of anyone. I don't think I've ever had any other group judge me so hard on things. Evil. Okay, absolutely love these for like an evil, you know, type cosplay or like wear them normal, but also for a cosplay, dark. Lizzo can dance most of us under the table. I hope so. It's her job. I hope she can do her job better than someone whose job isn't to dance. That's not my job. So yeah, she, mo she most definitely can. It's her job. She gets paid for it. I am not a dancer. She works out and keeps fit. Yeah, I've said that she works out a lot. She's very a fit person. I constantly have said that obese people can be fit, but loves being a big girl. I don't know. I saw a lot of comments saying, Saying that Lizzo's always crying all the time about like people judging her body or like having bad body image days. So I mean, I don't know. I personally have like certain days, but I don't need to cry about it. I usually just tell myself, you're probably just having a bad day. You feel like crap today. And so you think that you look like crap. Women shouldn't be slagging other women off or shaming them. So in here, it just means like he's telling me I shouldn't critique other women just because I'm a woman and they're a woman and we shouldn't critique women. Women are so sensitive that they can't handle critique. And the shaming part, like I said, shaming is subjective. If you feel shame about what I say, that's about you and you shouldn't watch watch my videos. Whenever they bring up, oh, this makes me feel shame or she's shaming this person, it gets very iffy because anybody can say that shaming or feeling shame is subjective. What feels like shame to you might be, you know, enough, you know, motivation for someone to be like, you know what, you're right. I need to get my shit together. But they never bring up this whole shaming thing when I talk about Brittany Dawn, Athlean X, Coach Greg, Obesa Beast, Tess Holiday, Kim Kardashian, Big X. All these other people that I've talked about bring up Lizzo. Now we got to talk about shaming. Honey, if you are one of Lizzo's worshipers who are not capable of critiquing anything that she says or does and she's your lord and savior, just say it. I know how it is. I cannot critique Yoshi. She's perfect. These are cute. I love the pastel pink, but $12 though. Is this right? Y'all tell me. I don't buy jewelry. I feel like CVS is kind of expensive. Even like looking at the makeup sometimes, I'm like, could I get this cheaper at Walmart? And for content, because this is aimed at one demographic, people who have a toned or athletic or slimmer frame. Y'all, subscribers, people who watch me, all up in the comment section who have constantly said, Michelle, I'm obese, but I really love this content because it helps motivate me. Or other fat people who agree with me on my Lizzo take. Did y'all just hear what Joey said? Y'all, he called you slim and fit and athletic. Y'all, he just, mm, you've been working on your fitness because he noticed because apparently everyone who watches me is slim and fit. So either he's right or that's just another judgment of someone who has absolutely never watched my content or even read a few comments. White people, keep in mind he is a white person telling me this, white people have been doing this to black people for hundreds of years. I didn't bring up race at all. Lizzo did, and that's why we talked about it. Who else did? You, and that's why we're gonna talk about it right now. White people have been doing this to black people for hundreds of years, comparing black beauty to white beauty. Well, thank you for the history lesson. I've actually walked that whole journey. Joey, white man telling a black woman about this, something that she's had to deal with. Thank you so much for the history lesson. I I just can't get over that a white man, a white man, white and a man at the same time is preaching to me, a black woman, about race and being compared to white people, you know, when it comes to beauty. Once again, a white man seeping their way into our spaces, trying to control us, all while acting like he's an 
ally. How dare you, Joey? So listen, I've gone to a few schools because we've moved around a lot. So there's different like locations. And I've gone to a few schools where I was the only black girl in school. Joey, can you tell me a time when you were the only white guy in school? Just wondering. I'll wait. Probably never. So everyone had different hair than me. Oh, well, let me say that I had different hair than everybody else. Everyone else had the same hair. I was the outcast. So I had different hair, different bodies, different nose shape, different everything. And I remember being super young and my mom would force me to go to these sleepovers, which I personally hated going to sleepovers that my mom set up. She never set them up with people that I liked. There were always people that were not interested in things that I was interested in. So I already was the only black chick and I wasn't interested in shit they were doing. So I already already felt left out already just from the looks and you know, the personality. So she made me go to this sleepover and I remember I was around seven. And so we went to a sleepover and what were they playing? Princess. And the main girl was appointing which princess each girl was and she gets to me and you know what she says? Oh. You can't be a princess because there's no black princesses. And then they went off and started playing and I was just sitting there by myself. I'm very lucky that I had family that, you know, constantly talked about, you know, praised black beauty and whatnot, but they also critiqued black individuals that needed to be critiqued. But I still personally had to deal with not having the appropriate features that were deemed beautiful, especially when you're young, that can be pretty hard. Now that I'm older, this is what you get. I love my black features. But to be completely honest, I was very happy when we moved to like more diverse areas. It was always like, when I went to my first school that had multiple black girls that had hair similar to mine and like just upbringing similar to similar to yours and like skin, it's a whole ass different experience. It's very nice. So Lizzo didn't say that she struggled with having, you know, black features and, you know, curlier hair and different texture hair and, you know, white people judging her a certain way and not feeling beautiful. She didn't talk about that. She picked obesity with blackness and I said just because you are black does not mean that you have to be obese because that's a big ass myth that some people some black people believe something that I believed when I was younger now I get Joey that you feel connected to Lizzo because you like to dance to her music and you were once obese but listen to those keywords you were once obese I cannot change my skin color like you can change your weight so next time before you try to educate a black woman on what she should do how she should act and give her a history lesson, all while you judge her and not know my background, look at your white privilege before you do that. Okay, anyway, I loved this group discussion. He ended up blocking me, like I said. He's not interested in having a conversation. He's only interested in giving a black woman, me, his opinion on how I should be acting. And me, as a black woman, is telling him no. I will act exactly what I want to act like and I will use my voice to voice my opinion on what I want to voice my opinion on. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. We are going to have a lot of new videos coming up. I really wanna talk about that movie Red that Pixar came out with that a lot of parents are very disappointed with and I wanna see what all the buzz is about. Like, why are people so upset? Is it that bad? I wanna get into it. Hope you guys watch it with me and I will see you guys next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Yeah. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrum.